The Layout Capture Window The Layout Capture Window contains several different functions that can be used to add and manipulate images in layout tiles. This portion of the guide will provide an overview of these options. These are your capture buttons. These buttons are used for image acquisition. The Capture Series button begins the automated series capture. The large yellow numbers on the layout tiles indicate the order in which they will be captured. If no preferred imaging extension is set for the layout, the user will be prompted to select an available imaging device. Note, if at any time during the series capture the user would like to retake an image, simply click on the desired tile to recapture, and the next acquired image will be placed in that tile. The series will then continue on the next empty tile in the sequence. The Take Retake button is used to capture an image for one specific tile in a layout. It is often used once a series capture has completed and there is a need to retake one or two images. Select the desired tile for capture and click the button. Again, if no preferred imaging extension is set for the layout, the user will be prompted to select an available imaging device based on the tile source. The Take Retake From button functions the same way as the Take Retake button with one major difference. It allows the user to define a capture source that differs from the one currently on the tile. For example, if a layout is expecting to capture from a sensor, but the user would instead prefer to capture from an intraoral camera, the user can select a tile and choose Take Retake From Video Source to capture an image from an intraoral camera into the selected tile. Here are the different Take Retake From choices. Scanner Image the software will prepare to capture from an imaging device extension, flatbed scanner, other Twain-enabled device. Sensor. The software will prepare to capture from a digital X-ray sensor. File. The software will prepare to import images from the local hard drive, network, or media device attached to the computer. Clipboard. The software will prepare to acquire an image stored in the computer's memory via the copy function. Open Image. The software will prepare to acquire an image that is open on the application desktop. Unassociated file. The software will be prepared to acquire the image from unassociated files, a file not associated with the tile, contained in the current layout group. Note, the layout will display a stacked paper icon in the bottom right corner of the layout when there are images in the layout not associated with any specific tile. And video source. The software will prepare capture from the direct video extension and any attached intraoral camera. The Auto Import button automatically imports images from a Windows folder location and places them into the layout tiles. Warning: If the Auto Import button is used within the layout capture screen, the images will automatically be deleted from their original file location. Your Enhancement buttons are the buttons in the bottom left of the capture layout window and are used to rotate vertically horizontally mirror, and invert images in the layout. These buttons are most commonly used with phosphor plate scanners, as tiles may be scanned by the user in random order and rearranged after capture. This is the Rotate Clockwise button. It rotates the selected image 90 degrees clockwise. This is the Flip Horizontal button. It flips the selected image horizontally. This is the Flip Vertical button. It flips the selected image vertically. And this is the Invert button. It converts black areas of the image to white and vice versa. The Stop Series Capture button is located in the bottom right of the Layout Capture window. This button allows the user to stop the automated series capture. The series acquisition can be restarted at any time by clicking the Capture Series button. If the user clicks the Done button, any captured images will be returned to the X-Ray Vision desktop, and empty tiles will act as placeholders for images that were not captured in the layout format. Retaking and viewing saved layout images. In addition to retaking images during the initial capture sequence, the user may add or retake layout images after the layout has been saved in the database. At the top of the layout view window, there are several buttons to control image viewing and capture. There are several different ways to view layouts in X-Ray Vision. The Select Group View button allows the user to change the viewing mode of layout images. The Layout View is the default layout viewing mode. 
all images in the layout are displayed in their anatomical positions. Double-clicking on an image in Layout View will open it in Single Image View. The entire layout is then displayed in a small floating layout overview window, allowing the user to easily switch between images in the layout. Note, the blue and white arrow buttons can be utilized to cycle through layout images. Double-clicking on the single image will zoom out and return to the full layout view. Single Image View option will zoom into the selected image. The functionality of Single Image View is the same as described above under the Layout View option. The Layout Overview window shows a small representation of the layout. Clicking on the tiles within this window will change the single image view to the selected image. Grid View displays all the images in the layout in a grid format. Users can change the size of the grid by clicking on the Specify Grid Size button at the top of the window. List View will provide the user with the file list of the images contained in a layout. Double-clicking on one of the files in the list will open it in Single Image View. Double-clicking on the Single Image View will return the user to the file list. Taking and Retaking Images When a tile is selected in a layout, an image can be added to it by using one of the three Capture buttons in the Layout View window. The Capture Layout Images button will launch the Capture Layout window for image acquisition. The Take Retake Image button allows the user to take or retake an image from the standard hardware source used with this layout. For example, if the layout source is Sensor, appropriate sensor extension for capture. Note, the Capture Layout screen will not be launched when using this option. Instead, the hardware interface will display as if it is ready for a single image capture, and the image will return to the selected layout tile after acquisition. The Take Retake From button allows the user to take an image for the selected tile from a different hardware source than the one that is specified for the layout. Images in a layout can be reordered by selecting the Move Layout Images button at the top of the layout viewing window. This tool allows the user to move images from one tile to another. Note, tooth associations for a moved image will automatically be updated based upon the tooth numbers assigned to its new tile. Clicking the Move Layout Images button will launch the Reorganize Layout Images window. Click and hold an image with the left mouse button and drag the image to a new tile. Note, users can drag images outside of a tile to create a temporary placeholder. This is helpful when moving images between tiles. The stack of papers icon at the bottom right corner indicates that there is more than one file associated with that tile. Think of these files as cards in a deck. In order to move any image to a different tile, it must be moved to the top of the deck. Left-clicking on the stack of papers icon will launch the Tile Image Selection window. Select the image from the display that you wish to move to the top of the file stack and click OK. The selected file will now be visible on the tile allowing the user to drag and drop it onto another tile. Note, the stack of papers icon will display in any layout viewing interface if there is more than one image associated with a layout tile. In order to delete or enhance any of these associated files, they must be moved to the top of the tile stack. Exporting and deleting from layout view. Users can export or delete images from within the layout viewing window by using the appropriate buttons. The exporting button sends the selected image out of the software to a user-defined directory. The deleting button permanently deletes an image file from within the layout. Note, once an image is deleted, it cannot be recovered. 